today's edition of the program is packed full with engagements of the governor in the week in focus. Welcome to event from Government House. I am Emeka Chukujindu. Governor Ifan Yokowa has dissociated himself from the persistent delay in the disbursement of monthly dues accruing to workers' unions and cooperative societies. Governor Kowa made the clarification at an interactive session with the Delta Business Community in Asaba, held at the Government House, saying he had been up to date in the approval of payment of monthly deductions alongside payments of workers' salaries, adding that there was no reason for withholding monies of cooperative societies. The governor, who was shocked to hear that cooperative societies were still being owed monies, directed the Commissioner for Finance, Olorogo David Edewe, to investigate the issue and get to the root of the matter. That I'm surprised to hear that after the deduction of cooperative money that funds are held on for several months recently, if it was before in 2006, I'll tell you, yes, when we were in very deep challenge financially, we were not being what they call net salary. That meant we were not, we were not deducting money at all for corporators. Then I will be deducting money for labor unions. But this time, salaries are paid in full and the deduction is supposed to be made in daily. So there's no reason. So finance is trying to investigate this. Because they can't deduct their money and hold it for three months. It means somebody is doing business with the money. <laughs> aimed at creating an enabling environment for investors. The governor acknowledged that the partnership between governments and the private sector was a catalyst for the industrialization of the state and promised to always interface with critical stakeholders to fashion out more ways of creating jobs and wealth for the youth. So we, we do understand that a lot is being done uh, and a lot more still has to be done. We understand that the, the, the national challenge at the moment makes it very difficult for your businesses to also try. There's no doubt about that because there are challenges on all fronts. But I believe that the more resident you are, the more you stay committed and focused, uh, it makes you actually stronger. So that when the economy begins to boom, it will just be for your business to truly explode and uh, to do the best that they can. But I must also uh, in this for a uh, some of you that have actually also committed themselves to that. Uh, and I know that there are many of you, some may not want me to mention their names, but there are some Deltans who be very committed to Delta. Commerce and Industry Commissioner Barista Mary Iasere said the program was organized to give business owners and industrialists an opportunity to interact with the governor on challenges faced in doing business in the state. We are promising that more of such business meetings would be organized. Business association, we want to see the government, we want to talk to the government. For you know that all of you here know that the government that you have is the type of government that you listen to these people. Today, they will have opportunity of talking to the government about their pains and joys in three business in Delta State. The governor will respond to your your cries and whatever you need to pay him today. So it's an interactive section. You'll be able to air your mind, you'll be able to say what you need to say to the governor. Stakeholders in the business sector thanks the government for creating the right environment for them, especially in the construction of roads and provision of other basic amenities required for the growth and expansion of their investments. They called on government to assist in making funds available to existing businesses to facilitate expansion, address the high cost of electricity power, and the development of trade fair facilities for optimal performances of their investments. <laughs> Hope you had a nice time with us. If you have any questions for the governor on any projects, policies and programs of governments, or you wish to draw the attention of governments to a pressing need of your community, you can now do so on this program. 
send your questions, comments, or inquiries to our Facebook page, Inside Delta Government House, or send a text to 81 27 We promise to give you feedback on subsequent editions of the program. Until I come your way next week, I'm Emeka Chukujindu saying goodbye and God bless.